Howdy guys, welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to do a little turkey hunt preparation, okay? And this year I want to try to shoot a turkey with the bow. And uh, so I'm going to do a little preparation for that. But I'm also going to sh show you guys my just in case that I'm going to take if the bow thing doesn't work out. And uh, my shoulder ain't going to like it. We are at 20 yards right now. Is a wee high. That was horrible. I don't know what's going on. Oh, I did move my peat sock because it slid. That might be it. It's shooting way high. I don't got the Allen wrenches out here with me. I'm gonna go get them. Uh, be right back in a minute. You got the Allen wrenches. I lowered you guys down because my battery on my GoPro, which is what I'm filming with, is about to die. So I got you hooked up to a battery pack right now. Let's go take a look at that one. This top one, I aimed down through here and it hit right there. This one is one I adjusted the sight and I aimed at that little bitty hole thing right there. Got it. And this one down here, I was a little left and it shot a little left. If you're wondering why I put them so far apart, uh, <laughs> I have a bad habit of aiming at the exact same spot and I break a lot of errors that way because I get them too dang close together. Uh, so, trying to separate them out and just aim at little small worn out spots. That's on that target then. Shoot again, confirm. That old Bessie's on. Look a little right though. Whoo, that was money. Two shots, two hits. The first one was a little right, but the second one Beautiful. Okay. So now we're gonna go back to 30 and just work our way back to 60 and we'll be good to go. Do I plan on shooting a squirrel? A uh, freaking, it's not squirrel. I, I squirrel hunt too much. Uh, do I plan on shooting a turkey at 60? Nah. But 60's just flat out fun. If my arm can hold out because my arm's still getting used to shooting a bow again. So we'll see how it goes. 30 yards. I'm aiming at is right beside the plastic on the side of the box. And that's what happened. I ain't that bad. I hope not. It looks like she's on. I think she's on. There's my first shot. I was aiming at this hole again. Right there you see a little black thing. And I was aiming down here. I wanted to see if it was hitting high or not. So I aimed down here and it hit down here. So I think 30 is good. This one I screwed up. This one I screwed up. I was aiming at one, what, one, this hole, I think. And I moved a little to the left and I shot a little high. Most like moved up to about right there and it hit right there, so. I warp my flexions there, Bernie. Maybe this will fly, fly good. It should. All right, let's go back to 40. 40 yards. I use my 30, dead burn it. I hope I don't do that at a turkey, dead burn. I use my freaking 30. And I was on it too, dead burn. Whoo! Just low. I was a little right. My height was good though. Let's go take a look. This shot's where I messed up. But if I remember right, this is where my 40 pin was, is on this hole. And it hit that hole, so I think we're good. I aimed at this hole, right there, and it hit just barely low, but I was favoring low. So that may have been where my pin is, but whatever, you get the point. 
this one I was right but I knew my height was was good so I hit right here and my the hole I was aiming at is right here so in summer if I can not can not use the wrong pin if I can not how do I say this if I can use the right pin there that would be better in theory that turkey smoked so that's the theory anyway going back to 50 50 yard -os. I don't aim at the tip of that little black long thing because I get a little bit more real estate just in case I screw the height up the left and right up and tip the bow a little bit or something arrows be expensive You know what happened? My brain is using the the pin above what I'm supposed to be using. I use my 40 for my 50. We had them. That one was good. I think 50's shooting a touch high, y'all. I mean like that much. That was good. I was going to shoot again, but I've moved just a touch low, and my pin, it hit a touch low. So I think I got 50 yards good. Time to go back to 60. I was a little poppy, but I think I got it. Let's go take a look. I think my 60 is good. All right, y'all. Here's my group at 60. This one, I think I had my my bow tilted just a hair, and it shot. Uh, my pin was right here in the shot over here. Shot over like an inch, inch and a half over. This one was money. It was a little poppy, but I see my pin go right there go up to there and i shot and the hit right there so so i think we're good and this one i seen my where my pen was and it hit dead nuts where my pen was so i think my 60's good and i actually going to get my bow turned up 10 more pounds because if you haven't watched the last video of me bow hunting my freak biggest buck of my life dumped my dang air and that that crap ain't happening no more hopefully it'll happen another day well, hopefully not this dang year. But I think I'm late. It let you guys wait long enough. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna take you guys back in the house, and I'm gonna show you guys my plan B. All right, yo. This is my plan B. <laughs> Look at the size of that barrel, y'all. This is a. I don't know if you see this or not. 10 gauge, three to three and a half inch, full choke, single shot, shotgun. I have shot this many old times. I actually shot a skeet with this one time. I took it to a hunter safety turn, hunter safety uh, practice, and uh, I offered it to the boys that they wanted to shoot this thing. And uh, funny part is. There was like 28 people there that was trying out, 25, whatever. And uh, five, counting me, shot this thing. The rest left. So <laughs> this is a heck of a shotgun. This is the shells it shoots, all right? My dad likes to get the biggest ones. This is his shotgun, by the way. There it is compared to my finger. 10 gauge... Let me, let, let me let you read the box. 10 gauge, three and a half inch, 1350. I'm shaking like a leaf right now. One and five eighths shot. T shot. T shot. I think that T stands for terminate, to be honest with you. I ain't, I ain't kidding. 
when we when he first got them, we shot it at a coffee can, and it left like 22 size holes. If you ever shot a metal can with a with a 22, it they lose a hole about that big. Imagine a shotgun leaving those size holes with one pellet. One pellet leaves a 22 size hole about that big. Tis a hoss. There is bigger shotguns out there like four gauge, but this is the biggest one you're allowed to hunt with. And if if I just want to, or the bow thing don't work out, well, for whatever reason, bow, sometimes bows have mess ups, gets out of timing, whatever. This guy's going with me. Well, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please share to leave a like and a comment down below on what kind of videos you want to see next. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have an awesome day.